Hello friends, in this class we are going to study derivation entry integration formula table. Now you can see first column is for derivation, second for integration of some standard function, third integration of some composite function. Now let us see some formula of derivation. Here first is d by dx of u plus v is equal to du upon dx plus dv upon dx. Second formula d by dx of in bracket u minus v is equal to du upon dx minus dv upon dx. Third, d by dx here k is constant. So, d by dx of ku is equal to now k we have to take outside since it is a constant. So, k d by dx of u. Next, d by dx of uv is equal to v du upon dx plus u dv upon dx. Now, how to remember this? First, you have to take a derivation, derivative of first one. Now, we are taking derivative of first one and other one you have to make it outside. Now, in the next step, uh, you take the derivative of other one like this that is v and the other part outside. Now, next derivative of u v w. Uh, the way in which you have solved, uh, find out uh, d upon dx upon e, uv. Uh, similarly, we have to find out uh, the formula for d upon dx uvw. Now, here first derivative of taking the first first element du upon dx and rest outside. Second, take the derivative of v. So, dv upon dx and rest outside. Third, take derivative of w. Derivative of dw upon dx and rest take it outside. Now sixth, d upon dx, derivative of u upon v, d upon dx, u upon v is equal to v du upon dx minus u dv upon dx upon v square. Next, now derivative of a constant, d upon dx, c is equal to constant, where c is a constant. Next d upon dx in bracket x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 equal to x raised to n dot dx upon dx. Next d upon dx is of x raised to n is equal to nx raised to n minus 1. Next d upon dx of x is equal to 1 derivative of x is 1. Now next derivative of exponential function d upon dx of e raised to x is e raised to x log of e to the base e dot dx upon dx which after cancelling we get 1. Now again d upon dx a raised to x is equal to a raised to x log a to the base e dot dx upon dx where a is greater than 0. Now derivative of logarithmic function d upon dx log of x to the base e answer is 1 upon x log of e to the base e dot dx upon dx which gets cancelled and we get 1 here after solving. Next d upon dx log of x to the base a is equal to 1 upon x log a to the base e dot dx upon dx which after cancellation we get 1. Now here in this column derivative of some trigonometric function. So d upon dx or sin x is equal to cos x. d upon next d upon dx cos x is equal to minus sin x. Next d upon dx tan x is equal to sec square x. d upon dx d upon dx sec x uh, is equal to sec x tan x. d upon dx cos x is equal to minus cos x dot cot, cot x. d upon dx cot x is equal to minus cos x square. Now, derivative of some inverse function. 
d upon dx sin inverse is equal to 1 upon root of 1 minus x square. Similarly, d upon dx cos inverse is equal to minus 1 upon root of 1 minus x square. Next, d upon dx tan raised to minus 1 is equal to 1 upon 1 plus x square. d upon dx cot inverse is equal to minus 1 upon 1 plus x square. d upon dx sec my inverse is equal to 1 upon x root of x square minus 1. Last, d upon dx uh, cos x inverse is equal to minus 1 upon x root of x square minus 1. Now, how to remember? Now, you can see the first column is for derivative, second is for integration of some standard function, third is integration of composite function. Now, let us uh, try to understand with uh, this example d upon dx x raised to n. This is the most simplest in this derivative. Now, in the derivative, LHS is the question and RHS here is the answer. Now, in case of integration, the question of the derivative is the answer of answer in integration and answer of derivative becomes question in integration. So, if you remember this first column that is the derivative of full derivative of full, uh, you can easily find out the uh, integration part. So, in this case, let us solve this example. So I am solving the one example. Suppose this is the question derivative of x raised to n. Now next step is going to be n x raised to n minus 1 dot dx upon dx. Next step n x raised to n minus 1 into 1. Next step n x raised to n minus 1. Now this is the answer for the derivative derivation part. Now if you are asked integration now you can see here I have solved this one this was the question on the LHS and this was our answer. So I got this is our question now this is our answer I got this answer you can see now integration part this one now this we will take as a question suppose we are asked find integration of n minus 1 now answer the first step of the answer is question itself now what will the answer now if you know the this table uh, derivation part we can uh, we can directly get answer of this integration how now as we said that a uh, question of uh, derivation is answer on answer in integration you can see and answer or derivation is question in integration now you can see this is the question this is the answer and in the integration this are this is the question so directly i can write answer as x raised to n or I can write find this answer by using integration method also so 
सपोज दिस अवर क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टेक द एन आउटसाइड इंट्रीगेशन द इंट्रीगेशन यू हैव टू एड वन इन इमरिट इन पावर एंड पुट दिस पावर बिलो एज वी आर फॉलोइंग इंट्रीगेशन फॉर्मूला दिस फॉर्मूला इंट्रीगेशन ऑफ एक्स रेस टू एन डी एक्स इज एक्स रेस टू एन प्लस वन अपॉन एन प्लस वन प्लस कॉन्स्टेंट Now after solving, we get answer as x raised to n. Now you can see this answer, and uh, this answer. Both are matching. now this was the derivative the derivative of x to n uh, here was the integration formula and the third column is for the integration of composite function and so i mentioned here integration of composite function so in exam if you can ask also integration of composite function now solving this uh, composite function the question integration of n ax plus b raised to n minus 1 dx now answer now you can see answer is x raised to n so this bracket part is our x so we will write it again ax plus b raised to n So you only have to write this one, n. And upon you have to write coefficient of x, and in this case it is a. This is the direct answer. Or you can use integration formula, this formula to find the answer. Now let us solve it by find by the integration formula. Again. same question integration of n ax plus b raised to n minus 1 dx answer integration of n ax plus b raised to n minus 1 dx next step tape bring this n outside so inside left is in bracket ax plus b raised to n minus 1 dot dx now applying this formula integration of x raised to n that is in the pattern of integration of this is part is x and this is whole is n integration of x raised to n dx is equal to x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus constant now this is um, this bracket is x so i'll write ax plus b raised to this whole thing is n n minus 1 you have to add 1 plus 1 upon a whole power you have to put it in denominator n minus 1 plus 1 
and also the coefficient of x you have to put it here now in this case it is a now after solving here it remains n now simplifying this get cancelled remains is a x plus b upon n now you can see this answer and the direct answer here both are same so i am forgetting to put here a you can see both are same so you can find out by direct method or solve by integration method now let us understand some of the integration formula of this column integration of standard function now here you can see integration of x raised to n dx is equal to now this is a standard formula for integration integration of x raised to n dx is equal to x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus constant of integration now here the question is the question of integration is the answer of derivation so if you remember this first column that is derivation part the formula of derivation you can easily indirectly find the answer of integration part now the question of integration is answer answer of derivation now the answer now the answer of integration is quotient of derivation so if you remember the easily directly also you can write this similarly next one integration of nx raised to n minus 1 dx is equal to n raised to sorry x raised to n plus c next integration of 1 dx with this is a constant integration of 1 dx is equal to x you can see match here question question of derivation is answer of answer in integration answer in derivation becomes question in integration similarly next integration of exponential integration of e raised to x dx is equal to e raised to x upon log e to the base e now you can see similar answer here now the answer of derivation is question of question in integration now e raised to x is our question so answer first i have written this one e raised to x and log this one part i brought to the by cross multiplying in the denominator so it got here so answer is e raised to x upon log e to the base e similarly next integration of e raised to x dx is equal to e raised to x upon log a to the base e same pattern we have followed here now integration of logarithmic function now here in if it is asked integration of 1 upon x at dx is equal to the answer would be log x to the base e now you see here you can match if you remember this you can easily find this now the question on in integration is answer in derivation 1 upon x and answer is here log x to the base e Now the trigonometric function in integration part. Now you can see in derivation, LHS is the question, RHS is answer. Now integration it is opposite. Now the question of derivation is question of derivation is is in the answer of integration, and the answer of uh, derivation become question in integration. The so, integration cos x dx is sin x. Similarly, integration of sin x dx is minus cos x. Integration of sec square x dx is equal to tan x. Integration of sec x tan x dx is equal to sec x. Integration of cos x cot x dx is equal to minus cos x. You can see here. Question becomes answer and answer becomes question. Integration of cos x square dx is equal to minus cot x. Now coming to integration of inverse function 
We can see LHS is question, RHS is answer. So question becomes answer in integration. Integration of 1 upon root of 1 minus x square dx is equal to sine inverse of x. Next, integration of minus 1 upon root of 1 minus x square dx is equal to cos inverse x. Similarly, for tan x. Integration of 1, 1 upon 1 plus x square dx is equal to tan inverse of x. <coughs> now, cot x. Integration of minus 1 upon 1 plus x square dx is equal to cot inverse x. And next, integration of 1 upon x root of x square minus 1 dx is equal to sec inverse x. Now last one, cos x. Integration of minus 1 upon x root of x square minus 1 dx is equal to cos x inverse. So this was the formula for the derivation integration formula table. It will help you to remember and understand the concept very easily. Thank you.